why is Larry Doby often forgotten in the discussion of the integration of baseball? Well, that's what my book is all about. Uh, I think that first he played in Cleveland, uh, although uh, Cleveland's vibrant today. Uh, it had some bad times in most people's memories, but back then in the 50s, it was a very vibrant place, but it still wasn't New York. Uh, he played in the shadow of Mickey Mantle, who was a great, great player, but who was hiked and was hiked in those days to an unbelievable extent. He played in the shadow of Willie Mays, who was a fantastic player, possibly the greatest player to ever play the game. Um, he was the second, as you said. Uh, there were a number of factors. Uh, he also was, he wasn't a quiet person, he, he was a reserved person. He, he knew he had a special place in history, and he knew what his status was, and he was articulate, but he was not a firebrand like Jackie Robinson. 